you know, to all these people who, who want to uh, sexualize kids, a, a good joke would be, ask them if they know what mace smells like, and and then show them. <laughs> Wait, why does it smell like almonds? That's That's not mace, is it? It's getting so dark and cold. Anyway, click the links for Odyssey Bit Shoot, uh, where there's even darker material, actually. Or join the Telegram if you're brave. Support the channel on Coffee, the various other links. Yeah, this is going to be just such a dark video, because we are... It's that meme of the guy, the guy says, you, you thought things were bad before. It's like, go oh, buckle up. They're going to get so much worse. So in a few years, I don't know, five years, five years from now, this is my prediction. If we're still, if we're still in touch, maybe on Telegram we'll still be in touch if we're not in the gulags, which is really kind of optimistic in that you would be alive to be in the gulags instead of just, you know, giving a last cigarette. So if, if, if in five years we're still in touch somehow, um, uh, this is my prediction that Disney, and you know, five years is not that, not that long, not that far away, but... Holy shit, how far have we come in the past five years? The past ten years, for sure. Disney will have an adult-child relationship. There's a joke in there, but I'm not going to reach for it. And nobody will do anything about it because of the slowly boiling cyber frog theory. Plus, you know, if you mention anything, it's like, you know, you're istophobic and we need to dox you, fire you, debank you. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's like all this is uh, bringing attention to these people. It's like, uh, you can't get in the way of these Epstein types, or they will just it, it, mysteriously find you in a cell with toilet paper around your neck. And, <laughs> gee, the camera's turned off. It's like, yeah, him, Epstein, and his buddy. And his buddy in France, I think. It's like, if you're uh, not Maria Abramovic, what's that lady's name? Ghislaine Gis Maxwell? <laughs> You've got to be just... Uh, what's it... I, I can't imagine the state of mind. Like, every time you hear the footsteps down the hallway, you think, ah, this is it, isn't it? This is, like, my time is it. What a dark thing this has turned out to be. Anyway, so um, one of the many signs America was de deceased was the trans drag kid stuff when that kind of happened. I don't know, like, five years ago, it really kind of kicked into overdrive. Kids uh, dancing around on stage um, and people throwing dollar bills at them. Children. I mean fucking my god you know it's like when you stop to think about it it just kind of blows your tits off nobody did anything not that i'm advocating anything illegal but it's the paradox of tolerance you, we must never tolerate degeneracy it's you know it's a cycle maybe after this next civil war there'll be a kind of a cleansing period degeneracy must be excised like the malignant cancer it is this is your country on globalism. Gee, America, are, are you winning? There was this uh, YouTube show about some kid, Jazz, I think. The uh, Nurkish does videos on, on him. He does, or it, or Zer, whatever, live streams. Um, the parents ruined that kid with a lack of structure. It's like, oh my God, just let people enjoy themselves. It, okay, um, how is that working out for that kid? Not, clearly not very well. He, he would have been better t uh, teaching the kid to drink from the skulls of its uh, its enemies, you know, kind of a little ancestral teaching there. Uh, uh, giving the baby over to be raised by bears in the woods would have been a better option than having this psychopathic parents raising it. Uh, truly, TV and social media is how the globalists got to the kids. And, you know, hopefully, I don't know if I'll... Uh, hopefully I live to see that redress of grievance because, you know, in the... the wrecking ball swings back so we would be better off building a town without tvs where children only have access to like the intranet just like north korea yeah maybe they're on to i mean not for adults but for for kids yeah they're they're definitely on to something not the internet because the message on the raw internet it, right now it's i mean it, it's like they opened a portal to hell with what they're doing now i mean did they was that the the bifurcation in time when they they say they it's when they killed that that ape uh i don't know i don't know when cern opened up their little wormhole and we slipped through if we tried to build like a kid safe town for you know young families the usual suspects on social media would lose their freaking minds over the thoughts of not being able to brainwash your kid imagine a whole town like 
that with like a base teaching system. I would make such a good teacher, such a good principal. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, a town without kids exposed to the toxic malevolence and just violence and prawn of the internet. Uh, the Mary Sue would call it the town that fascism built without ever really knowing anything about it. Oh no, a town without global homogenization. That's a threat to our democracy of Soros ruled global homogenization. Call the FBI and burn them alive. Or nowadays, I mean, back in the old days, they just use helicopters to drop bombs and burn people alive. Nowadays, they use drones to drop bombs and burn people alive. We can't have people thinking for themselves without the uh, without the um, the internet telling them what to think. You know, it's like you think I'm kidding, but like. Two years ago, you'd think I was kidding, but now you know I'm not kidding. Actually, a town like that sounds pretty awesome. Uh, seriously, we should we should build something like that, like, right now. It's a shame that the bread and circuses are so compelling. A town where we hate the Antichrist and burn Soros, Rothschild, and Schwab in effigy at the winter solstice. I know that's a little bit too base for you two, but my sub count has hit that magic gamer number, so I suppose it is as good a time as any to get shown the door. Anyway, so Disney, run by Vermin, so the rat is a very good character for them. Disney is over. You cannot possibly support Disney, Netflix, Amazon, Cartoon Network, whatever the other... Um, like, they're all HBO, Max, whatever, Paramount. All those things are all just the same same evil, evil... Um, uh, crab people in human costume type of folk. Disney had a good run. You could say that they kind of ended around 2000, and there's plenty of old stuff to, um, if you have a couple of external hard drives and some VPN, uh, you know, go to town. Anyway, all I'm saying is that this is going to end in flamethrowers and sniping rifles. Molotovs seem to be the Ukrainian choice. Uh, whatever works for you, because this, this is a judgment-free zone. All anyone has to do today is say something is hate. It, there's no prefix or, or uh, it doesn't have to modify anything. It's just the word in and of itself. It's it's like it's holy writ. It, it really is. It, nature abhors a, a vacuum. When you remove God, it's like, well, you just create God, even if it's if it's something from down below. Um, or hate speech, or you use the Saul Alinsky Bolshevik handbook. It's it's marginalized, oppressed systems of marginalization and disenfranchisement. This is a hate-free zone. No istophobia will be tolerated. No hate, or we'll take your kids away, mutilate them, sterilizing them, and lock you up for hate. <laughs> it's like, gee, it's kind of hard to offer a defense against hate when you don't even define it. You can't fight Bolsheviks when they control the schools and media and the courthouses, if I'm being uh, keeping it 100 with you. There's only separation, like literally forming a base separate community where the globalist cultural Marxists will not be tolerated. First, and the cool thing is, I'm going to do a video for this on Odyssey, is you, you can take their words and turn it against them. The thing is, we're powerless, and they're not. So yes, you could. You, there's a lot of these speakers who you could just simply substitute a few words and read the, the script back for, to them um, but you'd just be kicked off social media it, you know the white pill is alternative social media and alternative payment processors so first and, and donate on coffee to support my vitally vitally important work first teach, teach the kids how cool they are uh, and that the media is a bunch of soy boy kitty diddling vermin parasites you can use the Mary Sue as an example these obese ugly wine aunts are the enemy. You should always make fun of globalists. Hey, if, if fat shaming works, I, let's give it a shot. And if it doesn't work, it's still fun. Honestly, the more I think about it, a based curriculum, that sounds really good. You could put up pictures of these soy boys, these obese, blue-haired junkies, as the reason pepper spray was invented. Twitter offers endless, endless examples of, they, like, they proudly put their picture of it's the not smiling face. It's not quite a smirk. It's like a straight line across the lips, but it's a tilt, a slightly upwarded tilt, and a furrowed brow. And the the image used to be like there's nothing to smile about in, in Trump's America. It's like, well, okay, you didn't get the guy you wanted with Biden, um, but you got somebody. 
you know, Trump is long gone, even though it's, he's li- apparently living in people's head rent free. Uh, but the, the, their their PFP, whatever they're called, they're, that tiny little picture icon, it's like it's still the same picture. It's like they just, they're angry at the world. Like they've been angry at the world like that for 10 years. So apparently, now if your kid has internet access or TV, I think that's pretty much child abuse. There's just too much toxic Marxism online. It's so impossible to avoid. You can't. You have to actually physically keep it from the kid. Why am I sleeping in a Faraday? The kids, the whole house is a Faraday cage. We're going to build a Faraday cage town. Or I guess you could have jammers. Or the thing is you could just not have the, the net nodes. Or you could have it age restricted, I guess would be a thing. These Hollywood people have gone full mask off Shocking, it turns out that they are lizard people who eat children's souls. <sighs> is is that an exaggeration? You know, I don't think it is. These are just the worst people on earth. And, it, you know, when you go after kids, it's like, yeah, that's, that's about as bad as it gets because you're, you're destroying the future. And in this case, they literally are because, listen, some r- ritual mutilation, scarification, tattoos, and piercings, like humans have been doing that for 100,000 years. That's... As weird as it is now, you know, in the modern era, we view that as a little bit weird, but um, mutilating kids and simultaneously sterilizing them, that's, I don't know, it's anti-human. It's because you're killing the next generation. You're killing, you're, you're, you're cutting off the branch. You're entirely cutting off the branch. You're not shaping the way the branch can grow. You're actually cutting, you're cauterizing. It's a bizarre, I mean, it's like, what is 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 it's well it's suicide on a mass scale it's i i guess it's probably the first time humans have ever consciously done it i mean people on islands have used up their resources pacific islanders have variously used up the trees and the tops are washed away and they all died but that wasn't conscious they didn't know any better it's like what's happening now is like uh it's a it's like a, i guess it's a mass illusion a mass hysteria sort of thing a mass psychosis is what they call it. Anyway, so the schools are a lost cause. All it takes is one Marxist propagandist. You know, these, you know what they look like. You can go on Twitter if you're curious. Or go on Gab, because I repost the stuff on Gab. If you complain at the school boards, well then Merrick Garfinkel, the rat fink, will send the FBI after you. They'll have helicopters flying over the school board meetings. I, I kid you not, black helicopters. It's like... Back in the 90s, you listened to talk radio and you thought all that black helicopter talk was nonsense. It's like, well, now people have cell phones that can record in low light and in 4K. It's just, you know, it's a $500 computer you hold in your hand. It's like, oh, no, here they are. They're unmarked black helicopters flying over school board meeting. Oh, it's it's all really happening. All those tinfoil hat guys. It's like, they might have been a little bit, a little bit wacky. It's like that Mel Gibson movie back in the 90s, I think. The Pelican Brief or The Conspiracy Theories? I think it was with Julie Roberts and Mel Gibson. I think it was back in the 90s. Anyway, the, the ship is sinking, and it's on fire, and it's headed towards the rocks. And there's like some Cthulhu monster who the tentacles are starting to creep. I love that old black and white movie. I forget the name of it. Uh, the tentacles are creeping over the, the sides of the ships. And you just look around, and you're like, oh, we're just as fucked as we can be. Yeah, we're, it's like... Time to at least steer it towards the rocks so we can get off and try to get to shore. So there are too many things wrong at this point to fix it. There's just, it's just multiple system failures. This globalist takeover, this uh, soft revolution, it has been planned since World War III. You're seeing the fruit of the poison tree, and it's, I don't know, I guess it's like in Aliens when all those the uh, hatchlings start to open up at, at once. I was trying to think of a more literate... Um, analogy but you know trying to think on the fly of of like some old fantasy story it's not so easy to do anyway can you vote your way out of it um no no the demographics have changed since 1965 to the blue to make that impossible plus uh you saw who was counting the vote if you have been paying attention to the last event a few years ago so no um if it's not counted then are you just going to vote harder just yeah vote vote harder uh you're not going to vote with a hmm, ballot anyway if you're a fan of corrosion of conformity speaking of 90s bands uh, not that I'm beyond speaking uh, hypothetically, uh, but it really doesn't matter at this point because the tyranny is is already here. It's like, oh, they're going to put you in a gulag in the future, or they can put you in one now. I guess, you know, it's 
better to delay it as much as possible. Anyway, you may not see it yet, but it's like walking into a cage, but you didn't notice that the door clicked behind you. It's like, oh, um, what's the difference in these rooms? Well, you know, in these rooms, uh, the door handle's on the outside, and there's, there's nothing on the inside. Oh, oh, so I'm, I'm a prisoner. Yeah, effectively, you're a prisoner. So, Disney... And all that uh, bread and circuses for the cattle. The thing is, if you support the system, you'll get more of the system. Enjoy the old stuff. You can read a book. You can do real life things with real humans. Or make something. You can even you can make a book. You can make a comic. You can even make a low budget film, I suppose. That's like make a low budget film is still pr- pretty serious investment of money. The thing is, there's, there's no future in the mainstream. Um, and there's so much bad, there's not worth, it's not worth trying to, to go through and find the good because like you, by finding the few percent that's good, you're still supporting the machine. Feeding the machine gets the machine. That's the way it works. At one time, people who sexualize kids were censored, uh, with a wood chipper. Now they're called teachers. I mean, uh, uh, what they're, um, they're, uh, they're reading the poison to your kids at libraries. Uh, you know, woke moms are, proudly taking pictures of their kids in these libraries with these um, these people reading stories to them. It's like, was Weimar this bad? <sighs> That's a good question. I always get like, uh, the, the analogy they use is, uh, the Hugo Boss guys burned books. Um, yeah, these type of books, this stuff, this, this stuff, this, the stuff that they're teaching the kids now, yeah, they... This stuff they're burning, they burned. That's what they burned. Don't get me wrong. They there was some other stuff in there too. Tropic of Cancer and I don't know some other uh, for whom the bell ter- ter- tolls type of stuff. Um, you know that's kind of a matter of taste. But they were also burning these these type of books. And you know they built roads too. It's like oh my god, he drank. He was so stylish and he had a Volkswagen and they built roads. It's like we quick tear up the roads. It's like. You know, things are complicated. Uh, I think we can all all agree that stuff sexualizing kids is wrong. You know, it's the thing where you kind of hold on to the truth no matter what, even if you're holding on to it alone. It's like, if you know it, you know it's right. It doesn't matter if the whole world is against you. I mean, in practical terms, they're just going to, you know, give you a cigarette and paint the walls with your brains. But, um, you know, before that point, it's like, we really got to try to turn this around or uh, form in groups and split off to where kids are not sexualized. That should be a, a line in the sand for a lot of people. Um, and I think it is if you bring it to their attention and get them to the tipping point of saying like, oh, they're really, they really are doing this. These are monsters who are doing this to children. It's like, Oh, okay, if there's anything, listen, there's no point like going to war 10,000 miles away. You can miss me on that. Um, but going to war to save the next generation. Yeah, that's kind of, I mean, if there's like one thing we're sacrificing for, it's like, that would be the final thing. That would be the final battle, right? Anyway, what a dark video this turned out to be, but these are such dark topics that, you know, at one time, um, Disney wasn't, it's like, if you're, under I don't know forty, uh, it's like you're living in a, it's such a different world. Like the change is uh, uh, exponential, where it's it, like we're at this peak of the curve, or the curve's just starting to really accelerate. <laughs> anyway, why do you guys burn a, a rat effigy every winter solstice? It's not a rat. It's supposed to be a mouse, and the ears stay in the same. They're always, the ears always face you, no matter what way the head is turned. Uh, it's weird to see like something is just as innocent and silly and as fun and fun as um, as Disney get completely subverted. Like, oh, Di- Walt Disney was a fascist, was he really? Was he really? Or has the window just shifted so far that you guys are out and out globalists, and you you know everyone to the right of Stalin is suddenly fashionable? Um, anyway, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys all on alternative media.